Maybe this is my time. Maybe this is my time to start an OnlyFans. Just kidding, mom. OnlyFans is not my calling. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday today and I have honestly had like a really slow morning today. I am just so overjoyed to be making content now and vlogging with no motherfucking filter. It's so exciting for me. I genuinely have not felt this excited to make content and just speak with no filter in such a long time. It just feels so freeing. So thank you so much for all of the positive feedback. I feel like I had so many amazing conversations with so many viewers who maybe like grew out of my content and then refound me again and are like, well bitch, now we're like finally on the same page. Welcome back. So that's been my last week after the truth or drink video went up with Alicia. We had so much fun filming that video. I felt like ass afterwards and the next day, but honestly very much worth it. I'm currently low key, actually high key, high key trying to convince Jeremy to do a truth or drink with me in the next few weeks that we can celebrate the launch of the podcast. Oh my God. Also, oh my god, oh my god. So, podcast officially has a launch date. I can't believe I'm finally saying this. We have been talking about this podcast since literally February, and it's finally here! Oh my god, holy sh it took forever, but it's finally happening. So as you guys know, so many of you have already subscribed to the YouTube channel and rated the podcast on iTunes. We're literally number six on Canadian charts already, and we don't even have a single episode up. So thank you so much. Like seriously, what the f That's incredible. And truly, it helps us out so much. So if you guys can go and rate the podcast on Apple Podcasts, I will have a link in the description and also a link for the YouTube channel where you can find the trailer and episode one coming on my birthday. Birthday, which is August 11th in when this goes up it'll be Friday So Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday in four days from when this vlog goes up. Oh my god We've officially recorded episode one and two doing episode three this weekend and like it is getting so real Like I feel like I need to give you a taste of the topics that we've been covering everything from a dick size Does size matter to how we met a little more wholesome on um, the different dating apps in LA a little bit of backstory and history on Jeremy because I do feel like he's still kind of like a mystery in the vlogs. He really just like comes in the vlogs to be like, oh my god, hi. So some backstory on Jeremy, how we met, porn on Tumblr, discovering my sexuality through a porn on Tumblr. <laughs> like you are about to see an entirely different side of me that I feel like so many of you have been waiting for and it's finally here and I'm very excited. I feel as if my vlogs just officially became inappropriate for my father to watch. So... Sorry, Dad. I may have gone a little wild on Zaffle on bikinis, so maybe we'll do a little bikini haul today. I got so many cute ones. I think maybe the move is to do just like a top haul since I'm not trying to get demonetized. I don't know whose coochie this is supposed to cover. So that is the uh, the front of the bikini, and then um. Here's the, this is, this is a piece of floss to go between the ass cheeks. So maybe we won't do a try on portion for the bottoms, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so possibly TMI, but I have been having severe digestion issues and okay, like lactose intolerancy, we know about that. That's nothing new. Like I know that if I were to drink a full dairy Starbucks Frappuccino, I would literally probably die. I've learned how to cope with that. Lactate is a dear friend of mine, but there is definitely something else in my diet currently that is making me look five months pregnant and every morning I wake up and I'm like am I bloated or am I gaining weight like I genuinely am having trouble figuring out what the root problem is so I'm currently attempting a little experiment just where I've been writing down everything that I've been eating not as a way to like track calories or anything but literally just to see what makes my stomach hurt and what makes me bloated and what makes me poop so my first discovery from this experiment has been that anything that has guar gum in it makes my stomach die and like not in like a gross way I just literally have severe stomach pains when there's a lot of guar gum which is like a natural sugar additive replacement in a lot of like healthier alternative foods so smart sweets for example has a lot of guar gum as an alternative instead of sugar and hence why I think it's healthier and is way 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 lower in calories and I kid you not I did not shit for four days after I ate a bag of smart sweets and I was in so much pain so I've been trying to rule out 
different ingredients and food items that have been making me not feel well and I'm learning a lot. So if anyone has any tips for this, please let me know. I've done a few food intolerance tests. I think it's Everly Well is the one where you send them um, a blood sample. And again, this is probably TMI, but I just got a new kit where you send them a poop sample. <laughs> like you literally just send them off a little poop samples. That is next on my journey of figuring out what bloats me because genuinely like I have been in so much discomfort. I would say the last like six months and I need to get to the root of this. Today is also my first day of switching from coffee to an energy drink. So this is the Alani New and these taste so good. Only problem is that there is 200 milligrams of caffeine in a single serving and that would give me the shakes until December. So I have to exercise a lot of self control with these because they are delicious but I think this might also make me die if I drank the whole thing but anyway so far so good welcome to my 50% try on bathing suit haul <laughs> So I'm just gonna hold up each of the bottoms to show you so that A, we don't get demonetized. B, I don't have to put my ass cheeks on the internet. I love that for me. So here's the first one. These are all from Zaffle. This one's so cute. I also realized that this string is all attached. So these ones go through the top and then tie up here. So you make it tighter by tightening up this bow here, which is really cute. There's some padding in it. As you guys know, I don't have a lot going on up here. Also, I feel like we should move this up a little bit, but we always appreciate a little bit of padding. It's cute. And just like a clasp at the back. I also feel like Zaffle has like caught on to how poppin' their bikinis are and they're all like now 15 to like $30 where before I feel like they were literally $6 which is a whole other level of alarming in itself but now I feel like they're very on par with like the prices of like Forever 21 or even Target and I kind of feel like the quality's gone up as well so love that for Zaffle. Okay so top and then matching bottom what's going on here? You know what? I always have trouble telling the back from the front because there's just not a lot going on on either side. I think this is the front. There's a tag on the back. So here's the front and it's a cute little frill at the top and here is the back. This is honestly probably my ideal amount of cheekiness. Like it's not like splitting your ass cheeks in half like a piece of floss. Like the cow print bottoms. But it's like a fun amount of cheeky. Okay bikini number two is like this ruched really cute like sky blue with daisies on it. I feel like I've been so into this color. This looks like that activewear set I just got from Opali. And so it's like a matching ruched texture on the bottoms and again very cheeky. No, there's no way that that's the front. There's no way. Where do you put anything going in there? <laughs> I think I would be more comfortable wearing this side on the front and this side on the back. Either way, there's not a whole lot going on here. Good thing my father is not coming to Palm Springs with me. Also, guys, by the way, I want to reiterate this like a thousand times because, again, like I've been so conscious about COVID and being safe and just making sure that I am doing the best job that I can possibly do to be a good influence and make good decisions during a literal global pandemic, which does not mean getting on an airplane to go on vacation. For my birthday this year, Jeremy and I I are renting. I literally just found an eyelash on the floor and I have had a missing eyelash from the kitchen. I'm disgusting. Anyways, I rented for two nights a rental house in Palm Springs, which is driving distance. It's I think about two hours from Los Angeles. So we're all gonna be driving in our own separate cars and it's gonna be Asian Girl Squad plus boyfriends and everyone is getting tested multiple times before we go. And I mean, we've all been kind of quarantining and isolated in our own little friend bubble to begin with, but just to double double double, triple, make sure that we are in a safe environment. So we're driving in our own cars and then staying at the rental, not like going for dinners or restaurants or anything. We'll most likely just be like ordering Postmates and bringing groceries to cook a lot of our meals. So a bitch is having a safe birthday. So cheers to that. Ooh, this one is cute. Okay, so similar color to the sky blue daisy one, a little bit darker. And then these bottoms look large, but I think they maybe only look large because we've been used to seeing the little pieces of fabric on string. You know what? No, these are very normal size. What am I saying? So here's the front and here is the back, I think. Why is the front and back situation so confusing on these bikinis? I don't understand. Anyways, it's really, really cute. Got some frillies up here and there's actually a little bit of wiring here in this little V to hold it in place, which I love because you can kind of pull it apart or push it together however you want the bikini to fit. And she cute. Three for three so far. Love this. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Four for four. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure if this one was going to fit. It looked really, really small, but she's really stretchy. I feel like this is such a classic style that also just like never falls off in the pool, which is really nice. Similar style to the last bottoms. Again, where's the front? Not sure. I think this is it. But they're so cute! Tie-dye everything! Literally give me tie-dye everything at this point. I'm here for it, and I think I'm gonna be here for it for a very long time. Okay, last but not least... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't. I literally can't deal with this. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look, I think. But I think this needs to be reworked because, like, let me show you what, like, I'm sorry. This, this is supposed to stay on. <laughs> I need something to wrap around the back. So these strings are all attached and this one is like attached to this one and this goes around your neck. But there is just no world where this is gonna stay on. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and rework the string situation. Um, stand by, be right back. Okay, this is definitely better. Thank God I have the boobs the size of little daddy peanuts because I feel like all this fabric would typically hold like one normal size boob up, but luckily for me, I have no boobs. So we just did a little rework on the back to do a tie here and a tie around the neck and it's much more stable. Would I feel confident going down a water slide? Absolutely not, but she's wearable for sure. I would say for like the five bikinis, we have like a 4.75 out of five. I have yet to try these on, so maybe it's more of a four out of five situation or a four and a half. Yeah, I don't know if this bathing suit is gonna make it to uh, the birthday trip, but uh, we'll see. Babe, can I wear these? Hell yeah. <laughs> look at this, look at the tiny butt. Size so of a carrot. It's the, literally the size of the carrot. It's the width of one carrot. Also, I cut your head of that entire shot because you're too tall. So sorry. Not the first time, not the last time. Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, I have the bottoms on. They're not going anywhere. They're going, I can't even say donation because they're just so small that I don't think these could go anywhere except to an OnlyFans creator. Maybe this is my time. Maybe this is my time to start an OnlyFans. Just kidding, mom. OnlyFans is not my calling. Wow, the front honestly is fine. Sides are fine, but it might as well just not have a back portion to it. <laughs> There'd be no difference. On a more wholesome note though, I just realized that I have matching cow socks on. Unfortunately, you will not be joining in on the Palm Springs pool party. Hello, we've relocated to the DIY room. I am attempting to set up my sewing machine for a DIY that I'm filming tomorrow. I literally just have like so much dread before a shoot day when I know it's just like a sewing based DIY because there have been very few days where things go right the entire day. I spend most of the day fighting with the sewing machine typically. So I actually talked to a really, really sweet girl who runs actually a really cute small business that I found through Alicia. Anyways, I will link it down below, but she offered me some sewing advice for sewing spandex, which is what that Louis Vuitton fabric is if you guys remember. So I've got nylon thread and I've got polyester thread and I went back to our DMs and so I've got the polyester on top. I've got the nylon in the bobbin and I just need everyone to say a sewing prayer for me and hope that this goes well. And also this is Sunday's video so if this doesn't go well tomorrow, will we have a video this weekend? I don't know. So fingers crossed. I don't know why I do this to myself. I always like leave the sewing videos especially to the last minute. What is this curl doing? I hate when it like clumps together like this. I have a terrible habit of pushing back my sewing videos because I just don't really want to film them. I love sewing and I love when things turn out. I just dread the multiple fights that I know me and this little guy right here will have. So anyways, I'm gonna try and work out some of the kinks tonight so that I can get it out of the system now before it like starts my day off on the wrong foot tomorrow if I'm fighting with it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with the Louis Vuitton fabric and just pray to Lord baby sewing Jesus that this all goes well. I've never sewed with such different string materials on the top and the bottom. So I'm scared, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for sure. Oh my God, moment of truth. Literally, if this messes up, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, oh my God, that worked so well. I am shocked. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know anything about sewing, but you have like your tension and you have your different stitches And like usually it takes me a few tries to like get the right options. Wow. Okay. Something is definitely stuck, but Wow. Okay, I feel like we should end on a good note. Um, I'm gonna go make dinner. Hi guys, it is later and Moose and I just got back from our walk. I feel like I'm massively struggling with makeup and mask wearing. Let me know if you guys have any like tips and or tricks. I feel like as soon as I take my mask off, my makeup, especially from like the tip of my nose, is just like deuces, peace, we out of here. So anyways, it's the end of the night so it doesn't matter. Please let me know if you have any advice for keeping makeup on while you have a mask on. Just 2020 pandemic problems. Okay, so I have been tweeted this TikTok a bunch of times today and I feel like I should just 
clarify? This is literally the most random thing that I've ever been like somewhat dragged into or associated with. So essentially in Alicia and I's truth or drink video, I mentioned that there was an 18 year old ish TikTok influencer who slid into my DMs and then unsent it. It was literally nothing. It was literally nothing. And so someone made a TikTok saying that it was Griffin John, the Griffin, Griffin, you, I'm the hype house, Gri no wait, is he in the hype house? God, I don't know my TikTok houses. The one that was dating Dixie and they made this whole compilation because I mentioned that the guy who slid into my DMs is like someone who could do the whole like lip growl raise thing. And so anyway, they made it a whole thing saying that it was Griffin and Griffin cheated on Dixie multiple times. And like, this is just not my drama to be involved in, but no, confirming 1000% it was not Griffin. Do not associate me with this drama. Do not drag me into this drama. I am so, 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 so far detached from like the TikTok world of those people who are incredibly successful. I actually got Dixie and Charlie's new um, nail polish line, which is very cute. Congratulations to them. So was not Griffin who slid in my DMs. I don't know what the drama is there, but please leave me out of it because it was not him. On that note, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pray for me tomorrow for um, the sewing DIY that hopefully will go up on Sunday. If you see a video on Sunday, it went well. If there is no video on Sunday, things went very, very, very wrong with the sewing machine and I, my mortal enemy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already seen the podcast trailer, I will leave that link in the down bar below. Please, if you have like a free 20 seconds, go leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts. It helps us out so much. And I will see you guys on Sunday, hopefully, fingers crossed, and then in the next vlog. Okay, bye guys, I love you.